Oh God, save me by your name. By your power, defend my cause. O oh God, hear my prayer. Give ear to the words of my mouth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, good morning, and welcome to our Friday devotion. Friday of the fourth week of Lent. Let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. My dear friend, allow me to share with you the gospel of the day. They sought to arrest him, but his hour had not yet come. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. We are reading from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 7, verses 1 to 2, then verse 10, and verses 25 to 30. At that time, Jesus went about in Galilee. He would not go about in Judea because the Jews sought to kill him. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. But after his brethren had gone up to the feast, then he also went up, not publicly, but in private. Some of the people of Jerusalem therefore said, Is not this the man whom they seek to kill? And here he is, speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Can, I, can it be that the authorities really know that this is the Christ? Yet, we know where this man comes from. And when the Christ appears, no one will know where he comes from. So Jesus proclaimed as he taught in the temple, You know me and you know where I come from, but I have not come of my own accord. He who sent me is true, and him you do not know. I know him, for I come from him and he sent me. So they sought to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him, because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of our Lord. My dear friend, on this Friday of the fourth week of Lent, the question that we pose to one another is, do you really know me and where I come from? That's the question that Jesus is asking each one of us. My brother, my sister, my child, do you really know me and where I come from? Do we know who Jesus is in our lives? Many a times we say, Jesus, thy kingdom come. Other times we say, I am saved. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. I know, we say, Jesus is my friend. We say all manner of things. But the question is, does that come from our hearts? In our day-to-day -day living, who is Jesus to you? And what role does he play in your life? That's a good question. What role does he play? You know, there are some of us, Jesus is a magician. 
for some of us Jesus is our soldier <laughs> we only call upon him when we think that we are cornered to others Jesus is the one who gives us some assurance we only run to him <laughs> sometimes when we want to be helped you know I work at the university and uh, many a times you see students uh, who are very pious during the exam time. <laughs> In fact, I always say that uh, this, the God of students is a very funny God. He is a God who is activated when the exam times comes, after the exams, and then he is left on his own. I don't want us sometimes to behave like students who will activate their God for them. Jesus is the one who comes through <laughs> during the exams. Let us be men and women who are guided by him and that every point and part of our life is guided by him. You know, according to spiritual writers, Jesus offered and promised Two things to those who accept him as their Lord and Master. Number one, he promised them eternal life. That is, life without end. Death for them would be nothing. Death would not be the end, but only the beginning. Number two, he promised them a life that is secure. This does not mean a life without sorrow and suffering and death. It only means that in their darkest hour, they are aware that God is with them, strengthening them to stick to it with him. And my dear friend, this would be the word I would want you to carry today that even in our darkest hour we are assured and as we are saying nowadays as a country as nations as the world we may be in our darkest hour because of COVID-19 the coronavirus but let us know that he is with us he is strengthening us those of you listening to me and watching me this early morning, it could be your darkest hour, maybe in your family, maybe because of your health, maybe because of finances, maybe because your marriage is not working. Maybe you could be in a relationship that is really, really taking away your concentration and every power that you have. This morning, I want you to know that with the Lord, life can only get better that even in your darkest moment, he is with you. My brother, my sister, please don't give up. He is with you, and he will always be with you. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with the former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. Look upon your servants, O Lord, and in your goodness protect with heavenly assistance those who trust in your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, do have a productive Friday. A